Okay, this problem is about finding the electric field. So this says uh, we have x axis. So this is my x axis. Let me write. So this is my x axis. And the x axis we have charges. So let us say this is my origin. So this is origin. And there are charges that are placed. So one charge is placed at x is equals to a, another at x equals to 2a, another is at x equals to 3a. 4a, 5a, 6a, 7a. So we have x equals to a, this is x equals to 2a. Ah, no, this is x equals to not a. Basically, this is x equals to origin, x equals to 0. So this is x equals to a, and this is x equals to 2a, and this is basically 0. And x equals to 3a, this is x equals to 4a. Similarly, I can write 5a. And the question says, what is the electric field at origin due to this charge distribution? So we have to find what is the electric field we have at this point. One thing is clear. Due to this charge, these all are let us say positive charges. This is Q. This is Q. This is again Q. So we have Q charges arranged at a distance of A. So each Q charge are separated by a distance A. Are you getting or not? So we have charges. And each charge is separated by, so if you take any two alternate charges, they are separated by this charge, distance A. This charge, this charge. Again, separated by distance A. What is my task? To find out electric field at origin. So find out electric field at origin. And one thing is given to you. And there is a mathematical identity that is given to you, 1 plus, so you see the question here, you see, you have 1 plus 1 by 2 square, 1 by 3 square, 1 by, this is identity is given to you, basically this can, this can be derived, but let us say for our purpose this identity is given. And now things are very easy, you can do yourself, electric field at this point will be due to this point charge is directed in this direction. Due to this point charge again directed in this direction. Due to this point charge, third point charge again directed in this direction. So you see, I can apply the superposition principle. I can simply add all electric fields. Are you getting or not? So we will apply superposition principle. So let us first find out the electric field due to charge that is at x equals to a. So we are finding electric field at x equals to 0 and due to the charge, so we have a, so there is a charge. So due to charge, due to charge at x equals to a. So we have a charge at x equals to a. So what will be the value? If you remember due to the point charge electric field is given by, so things, things are easy. Q by 4 pi epsilon naught. I will go fast now. Or a square and the distance is a. Similarly you can find electric field at x equals to 0 uh, due to charge at x equals to 2a. So this is x equals to 2a. Are you getting or not? And this time we will have electric field and this will be given as when a distance will change q by 4 pi epsilon naught and distance is 2a. So this is 2a square. Now see all the electric fields are in the along this direction. So there is minus x axis. So if I say this is my positive x axis so electric fields are along the minus x axis that is minus i cap. This is again minus i cap. So what can I do is I can add all these electric fields. So total electric field will be, so you see total electric field. So total electric field will be given by this is, so first one. So let us take q by 4 pi epsilon not common. So you will have here 1 by a square. And here you will have 1 by 2a square. And third term you will have similarly 1 by 3a square. And up to infinity because charges are spread over up to infinity. Are you getting or not? So now I have to let us take q by 4 pi epsilon naught. a square also if I take common. So I will have first term 1. Second term 1 by 2 a square. Third term I will have 1 by 3 a square. Plus 1 by 4 a square. And this goes up to infinity. So this goes up to infinity. So you see, 
and the identity is given to you in the problem you see the beginning there is a identity that is given to you so we have to go far these are easy problem this identity is equals to pi square by 6 so if i use this identity pi square by 6 or 16 pi square by 6 so let us use this value as pi square by 6 so i will have q by 4 pi epsilon naught e square and multiplied by pi square by 6. So you can prove this identity yourself. This is a part of mathematics. We can't do anything here. So this is a course of physics. We are not discussing mathematics of pi pi course. So we will have q pi and 6 into 4 24 epsilon naught e square. Are getting or not? So you see, you will have. So if you take q by 4 pi epsilon naught e square common. So you will have one factor pi by 6 are getting or not. So this factor, so this is the due to the point charge. So you see, this is the electric field due to the point charge. E due to point charge. So if you have only one point charge at a distance A, you will have this electric field. So this electric field due to point charge. So this is the electric field due to point charge. And this is the correction factor. So you have a large number of, uh, basically you have to multiply pi a square because I have to have a, a, this is a pi epsilon, so I have to multiply by pi a square, so you have pi a square, so there is a correction factor, so the correction factor is pi a square by 6, so if you have an infinite line charge, electric field will be simply electric field due to point charge at a distance a and multiplied by a correction factor pi a square by 6. And this correction factor is coming due to identity mathematics. Are you getting or not? Simple. Are you getting? Let us discuss the next problem.